Let's get started working on the scale input-output tables with mixed equations. Find the rule and complete the table. So we need to see what is happening between the inputs and the outputs. So what's going to happen is we're either going to be adding something, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing. So let's first figure out from the input column to the output column, are the numbers getting larger or are they getting smaller? The inputs are 1, 3, 5, 7, and 8, and they turn into 2, 4, 8, and 9. Those look like they're getting bigger. If they're getting bigger, we have two options. We have addition or multiplication. If they were getting smaller, we would think of subtraction or division. So let's say, if let's try addition first. 1 plus what will give us 2? It looks like 1 plus 1 will give us 2. What about if we use multiplication? 1 times 2 would give us 2. So we either have the pattern of plus 1 or times 2. Let's check the next row and see which one also matches. Next one goes from 3 to 4. We can add 1 to get to 4. But if we multiply by 2, we're going to end up with 6. So it looks like plus 1 is going to be our pattern. Let's check for the other ones to see if that follows as well. 7 plus 1 is 8, so that one works as well. And 8 plus 1 is 9, so that works. We're given the input of 5, so we need to complete the rule of plus 1 to find out what the output is. 5 plus 1 is 6. So we, our output for 5 will be 6. But they also give us some other information where we have the output of 11 and we need to find the input. So what number can we add to with 1 to get 11? A good way of thinking about that is going backwards. The opposite of addition will be subtraction. So we can do 11 minus 1 to find out what the input was. 11 minus 1 is 10. So our input is 10. And if we just go ahead and check it and we do 10 plus 1, we do in fact get 11. So our two answers, the first output will be 6, and then that second one for the input will be 10. Find the rule and complete the table. 3 turns into 9, 5 turns into 11, 7 turns into 13, and 13 turns into 19. It looks like, again, these numbers are getting larger, so we either have addition or multiplication. To get from 3 to 9, we are either going to be adding 6 or multiplying by 3. Let's check the next one. It is an input of 5, so let's try first to add 6, and that's 11, which is our output. And if we multiplied by 3, we would get 15, so that one's not quite right. So it looks like our pattern is going to be plus 6. That works down here for the 13 plus 6 to get 19 as well. So we have this output of 10. We want to find the input, so we need to work backwards. 10 minus 6 will be 4. So the input for that one will be 4. And then we have an input down here of 10 that we need to find the output for. So we're going to add 6 to that to get 16. So if you start with your input, you use the rule like normal. But if you start with your output, you have to use the rule backwards. So we'll have 4 and 16 as our two answers. We have 9 turning it into 10, 14 to 15, 17 to 18, and 18 to 19. They're getting larger from the inputs to the outputs. So we, again, we have addition or multiplication. There's nothing we can multiply 9 by to get 10, but we can add 1. Let's check to make sure that that is 
the same rule for the rest of them. 14 plus 1 is 15, so that works. 17 plus 1 is 18, and 18 plus 1 is 19, so that all works. So to find the output for an input of 10, we will add 1 to get 11. And to find the output of 11, we will get 12, because we follow the rule of add 1. So we'll have 11 and 12. Find the rule and complete the table. 5 turns into 11, 8 turns into 14. Well, we can see that the numbers are getting larger, so we're going to use addition or multiplication. We can't multiply 5 times anything to get 11, so we're going to use addition. 5 plus 6 is 11, and 8 plus 6 is 14. We have two outputs that we need to find the inputs for. So we have to work backwards. 8 minus 6 will give us 2, and 16 minus 6 will give us 10. So our two answers are 2 and 10. Eleven to thirteen, thirteen to fifteen, fifteen to seventeen, and sixteen to eighteen. The numbers are getting larger, and it looks like we are adding two. Eleven plus two is thirteen, thirteen plus two is fifteen, fifteen plus two is seventeen. So to fill in our missing spots, we need to do eight plus two to get ten. And 17 plus 2 to get 19. So our two missing values are 10 and 19. Find the rule and complete the table. 1 turns into 2, 4 turns into 8, 7 turns into 14, and 9 turns into 18. They're getting larger, so we have addition or multiplication. To get from 1 to 2, we can either add 1 or multiply by 2. 4, if we add 1, we get 5, but we really want it to be 8. So let's check this times 2 work. 4 times 2 is 8. So it looks like times 2 is going to be our rule. And 7 times 2 is 14, so that works. And 9 times 2 is 18. So our rule is multiply by 2. The opposite of multiply by 2 will be to divide by 2. If you're going to undo it, you need to divide. So we have an output of 16. So if we divide that by 2, we'll find our input, which is 8. We have another output of 20. If we divide that one by 2, we'll find our input to get 10. So our two values that are missing are 8 and 10. One turns into two, three turns into six, five turns into 10, and 10 turns into 20. Let's use this three and this six. We can either add three or multiply by two to go from 3 to 6. If we add 3 to 5, we get 8, but we need 10. So 5 times 2, does that give us 10? Sure does. So multiply by 2 is this um, the rule that we need to follow. So we have an input of 6. If we multiply that by 2, we will get 12. We have an output of 18, so if we go backwards to find the input, we divide it by 2, and we get 9. So our two missing values are 12 and 9. Two turns into four, five turns into 10, nine turns into 18, and 10 turns into 20. It looks like we are multiplying by two so for this first one, we need to work backwards. Six divided by two will give us a three, 
And if you just want to check it, you could always use three and use the rule to check if you get six. And three times two does in fact give us six. We have an input of eight. We need to multiply that by two. And we're going to get 16. So our two values will be three and 16. One turns into two, four turns into eight, six turns into 12. All of those numbers are being doubled. Another way to say double is to say we're going to multiply by two. If we have an output of 16, eight had to be multiplied by two to get that. So our missing value here is eight. We have an input of 10 and we multiply that by two, we get 20. So our missing values are eight and 20. Two turns into four, three turns into six, eight turns into 16, and nine turns into 18. These numbers are also doubling. We have two outputs that we need to find the inputs for, so we're gonna work backwards using dividing by two. Eight divided by two is four, and 14 divided by two is seven. So our two missing values are four and seven.